Today, I'm going to be playing what I like to class as the forgotten FIFA game. Many people might be too young to remember FIFA without the most played game mode. And today, that is FIFA Ultimate Team. I'm going to throw it all the way back and play the first ever FIFA Ultimate Team in 2024. However, this one might come as a little bit of a surprise to people because it actually wasn't a mainline FIFA game which introduced Ultimate Team for the first time. It was in in fact, this, a UEFA Champions League spin-off game made by EA Sports. In the 2006-2007 season, EA teamed up with UEFA to make their second Champions League spin-off game. There was a previous 04-05 game which is available on the GameCube, original Xbox and PlayStation 2. I think we can all agree that over the years, Ultimate Team has started to focus a lot more on microtransactions, the amount of time that people actually spend playing the game, etc. Squad builders... I wanted to take it back and see what it was like at its core when EA first came up with the idea for Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team definitely wasn't a finished product at this point. It didn't make its appearance in a mainline FIFA game until FIFA 09. Wasn't too far after this, but even then it was still in a very basic form. From this point, this was the last EA game to include the UEFA Champions League as they lost the rights or decided not to continue purchasing the rights to Pro Evolution Soccer. Rest in peace, there used to be some unbelievable PES games. But before we jump in and play the UEFA Champions League 2006-2007, let's throw it all the way back to paint the picture of where football was at at the time. The Premier League was in a completely different place. Two League One sides in Bolton and Wigan were battling away in the Premier League. Manchester United claimed their 16th Premier League title despite the fact that Didier Drogba scored 20 goals for Chelsea to claim the golden boot. You had some massive stars in the Premier League around this time. Ronaldo and Rooney absolutely killing it at Manchester United. Berbatov was doing unbelievably well. Drogba, the league's top scorer at Chelsea in that incredible incredibly stacked Chelsea team along the likes of Terry, Lampard and a bunch more. But in the Champions League that season, it was Milan who reigned victorious. Milan had an all-star team which included the likes of Kaká, Seedorf, Inzaghi, Perlo, Maldini and loads more. Across the world, you had players like Henri, Ribéry, Buffon, Eto, Ronaldinho, a load more legendary footballers absolutely killing it. This was back in the day when FIFA was still being released for the Nintendo Wii. You had Rooney, Lampard, Theo Walcott made it on the FIFA 10 cover, by the way. How wild is that? Anyway, let's jump into it and play the first ever FIFA Ultimate Team. We're starting up a Champions League game for the first time. I think I may have played this game when I was younger, but only for a very, very brief amount of time. Look at that iconic Champions League logo. I absolutely love it. I love the magic of the Champions League in general. It's a real shame that there isn't as big a concentration in the modern FIFA games. Whereas back here in 2006, there was the demand for a full standalone Champions League game. UEFA presents. Oh, this just feels old school. Look at that ball. You've got the music in the background. Kaka, mentioned him a little bit earlier. What an absolute baller. Oh. Legendary. Anyway, let's jump into the game. Look at this old school menu. Just a drop down, select what you want, and we're going to go straight into Ultimate Team. Let's get started. Oh, I'm really excited to see if it's similar to FIFA now where you get, a, I guess you get a pack of players to start off with. There's a lot to know, so please use LTRT to flip through all the tutorial. The goal is to collect cards, build the best custom team you can and win the UEFA Champions League. Play ultimate team mode to unlock the UEFA Champions League tournament. That's quite cool. Toggle the right stick to see the different card views available. All right, let's do so. Who have we got here? Luis Garcia. So as I flick across with the right stick, you can see you've got the overall rating, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, heading, morale, fitness, back in the days of fitness, and specific positions and specific formations. That could get really complicated really quickly. But let's advance. Buying cards. Look at that shiny packet. It looks more like a match attacks packet than a FIFA Ultimate Team packet. We've got play any game mode other than the lounge to earn credits. 
the better you perform, the more you earn, play online to earn even more. Don't think we're going to be doing that in 2024, unfortunately, so it might take a minute to get a pack. Earn credits to purchase bronze card packs. Progress in ultimate team mode to unlock silver and gold packs. So it's still the same pack layout as it is in the modern FIFA games. You've got bronze, silver and gold. But I'm assuming there's not going to be jumbo super rare player packs that cost 750,000 great British pounds on this FIFA, which is probably for the best. Please enter a team name. Let's go with the classic. What is my current FIFA ultimate team name? And we'll always remain that. It's the simple Jafule. Jafule! Can we get Jafule to win the Champions League on Ultimate Team? In this screen, you'll always preview new cards you are receiving. The following cards are your starter pack to kick off your Ultimate Team. So we're about to start a team, opening a starter pack on the first ever FIFA Ultimate Team game. It's exciting. Let's do it. There's a lot of cards that come out of that. Pace boost. Morale boost. One player reduced fitness. Why would you want reduced fitness? Doesn't really makes sense. Dribbling boost. Bay Arena. Cool. Horrible kits. Generic badge. Okay, this is just the start of stuff. Let's get into the players. O'Brien. No idea who that man is, but he's a Bolton player. We mentioned Bolton earlier, as if Bolton were in the Premier League. You got Hoogland at Schalke. Melly at Real Betis. I don't know who that man is. Caldwell at Celtic. Pekovic at Mainz. I think that's Mainz. We've got an Arsenal player. Not that I'm an Arsenal fan. Just the first big team we've had. Dejoru. Any Arsenal fans? Let me know who this geezer is. He's on the first ever ultimate team. Who is Dejoru? You got Chautos at Inter Milan. The B Tech Marshall, apparently. No idea what team that is. Ripper. <laughs> These players, it looks a bit like Nasri, to be fair. Bout about, about about. No idea. No idea. Come on, at least give us one player I've heard of, even if it's a youngster. Lucenti. No. <gasps> Sirigu. Sirigu was a legend on the old FIFA Ultimate Teams. I remember having a Serie A squad back in FIFA 14. Sirigu was a good keeper. And I think he went to PSG for a little bit as well, testing my own ball knowledge. Let's advance anyway and see what we get from here. Do we build the team yet? Do we get the opportunity to pick a player? Maybe let's find out. See, it's really sad at the minute. I feel like FIFA is in a space where to have a successful Ultimate Team, you have to spend a lot of real money on the game. And I don't really appreciate that. Um, I feel like you should be able to build a really good team just by playing the game a lot, doing the SBCs. And you can build an okay team, but then there's a new special team every week. Team of the week, team of the year, team of the season, man of the match cards. Um, I, I don't even know all the modern ones. I've not played FIFA as much this year as I have in previous years, but I, I used to absolutely love Ultimate Team. And... I think maybe they should take it back a little bit. Make it so the end goal of the game becomes a little bit more like not spending money and actually building up a squad throughout the game. Anyway, rant over. Let's look at our team lineup. Wow, this is truly awful. Who have we got on the bench? Right, so 67 rated DM. No, centre back 65. Both of ours are over. I'm going to guess that it's automatically put together the best possible team for us. On the cards here, you've got the ratings, but obviously they're not silver they're not bronze silver or gold cards i don't know maybe if that changes you can look at a little bit more about each one but this is absolutely wild got player contracts staff contracts team talks training goalkeeper training so you can train your players on here injuries club info and gameplay cards buying cards can we buy cards 100 points no we don't have any credits right now let's play a game on this and see how we do. I consider myself as okay at modern FIFAs, but obviously this is that old. I'm probably going to be awful. Take your ultimate team to the top of European football. Increase your team prestige as you advance through five levels of play in search of a golden ticket to the Champions League finals. Build your team along the way by purchasing card packs from the card store. Good luck. I wonder if there was... I wonder if there was microtransactions on this. Let's do a four-minute half. Keep it on semi-pro. That's okay for me. 
And also, back in these Xbox 360 days, you have to save the game every five seconds. It's a little bit wild, if you ask me. Jafule against Levski. I'm going in the yellow kit. I love a yellow kit. Wow, look at this. You see, it just feels like you play... I mean, it is just an old FIFA. This is what I mean. It's just like, I imagine FIFA 7 used a lot of the same menus, a lot of the same gameplay, etc. as this, but it's been a long while since I played a FIFA that old in general. Never mind a Champions League special edition. These graphics, we've got the toaster special. Whoa. All right, so it's LT to switch players, which is a little bit weird. Do you know what? The graphics aren't actually as bad as I would imagine a FIFA from 06 or 07 to be. Not amazing either, but not quite as poor. The passing seems poor. All right, we're on the run here. Oh, Brian, the Bolton boy, I remember that much. Puts a through ball through. Easy interception there, though, for the defender. Nice little through ball there. I just want to get a shot off, I can't lie. Get a cross in the box. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess, wait, let me check the controls for this. All right, well, apparently B is to shoot and X is to cross. I didn't know, right, let, let's go again. I, that cross was super dodgy. It wasn't like I clicked X. Oh, nah, they threw. What a fucking challenge. Oh, maybe not. Skyed it. Unlucky. Right, I want to keep possession for a minute. Nice passing play, a bit of Bielsa ball. We're blessing the Champions League today. Look at this. I said nice passing play and just ran in a straight line. All right, here we go. We're back on with the passing. Yes. Turn, run. One more pass. Shoot. Oh, horrible, horrible effort. Settles about three million miles wide. Where are we playing? We're at the Emirates as well. I don't remember packing the Emirates. Maybe this is just the starter stadium. Look at us. Possession play. On the wing. Right, this is it, boys. This is it. See, that cro That wasn't a cross again. The pace of this game in comparison to modern FIFAs is so slow. It looks like everyone's running in treacle, whereas I think probably since about FIFA 13, 14, the main thing on the game has been pace. Sirigu there with safe hands. I'd expect nothing less from the homie. Ooh, hey. No one's had a good shot yet. 30 minutes in, every shot has been a really poor attempt. But we're through nearly the 45th minute. Come on. This is an opportunity right here. We're open in the middle. Oh, we were. Let's cut in. Let's cut in and have a shot. Oh, handball ref. Handball. Okay, well, I'd say overall we've been pretty on top this half. We come back in the second half and get the W on the way to the Champions League. Let me know as well, if you're enjoying this video, then maybe we can make this a series. Maybe we can try win the Champions League on this game. I feel like it'd be a long process. It'd probably take me about 12 hours of gameplay. But if people want it, oh, we've got a free kick. Wild when I'm playing this on the Xbox 360 and there's a PlayStation 3 advertisement in the background. Anyway, let's have a fucking bang at this. Very disappointing. We're in. We're in. Come on, someone make a run. Where's the forward runs, boys? Really good move, this. What a fine pass. Ah. I clicked LB then to do a lofted through ball and realised that's probably not a thing that's been invented on FIFA at this point. Get the cross in. Have a shot. Oh, if you'd have won the header then, guaranteed goal. Let's have a long shot here. Bang. Woo. Right. We've had a shot on target. That can be classed as a win in itself. Turned, absolutely turned. Oh, did too much. Win that. Pekovic. Pekovic and O'Brien in the middle is a deadly combination so far. This is also a deadly attack here. What's that for? A penalty? I didn't even touch him. I slid, but I didn't actually touch him. You know those trusty Xbox 360 controllers disconnecting at the worst moment. It's the 75th minute. Sirigu? No way. It's my first game. We're losing in the Champions League. Right, we've got to pull this back here. We can't be having this. We at least need a draw. We've got 14 minutes left to do. Where's the attacking runs, boys? Right, come on. 
Disgusting. The team needs to attack more. Whoa. There is some kind of tactics on here. I've just gone to put it on like ultra attack and something popped up. Got the ball in the box. <sighs> Get the shot off. Right, this is looking like the last chance. What's that for? Offside? Oh, he's fucking off my screen. There's a defense. And the ref's blowing the whistle. We were definitely going to score right at the end there. I'm not hearing it. That was going to be it. Sophia have beaten us 1-0 in the Champions League. What a sad, sad day it is. Surely we're going to get some points for that. We need a gold pack. Credit's 58. How much is a gold pack? Packs. How much is a gold? A gold pack. I can't even buy a gold pack yet. Pack details. This gold pack is the most likely to contain high quality cards and can only be bought if you've reached a level of five or more on the ultimate team mode. So it's the end of the road. Let me know if you want a part two in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look through the first ever FIFA ultimate team. Maybe we can build up to getting that gold pack. Maybe we can build up to winning the Champions League. But if you've enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. We drop a lot of football content, not usually FIFA content, but we're not particularly against that. Maybe a pro club's coming in the future. Uh, but if you love football, follow the channel and we'll show you love the content. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.